Adopt-a-Palooza returns to Union Square Park. That's next on All for Animals. neuter return group that we do a lot of TNR with the feral cats right. but we also pick up tons of kittens from outside and from animal control right because the kittens can be socialized and, yeah. and who's this little guy he's um, Parker he's about five months old he, he also came from the streets of Queens close up with those cutie what do you have to say what do you this have to Parker. say so cute yeah. So Money Paws uh, is, uh, started in 2016. We've had almost 2,500 adoptions uh, since then, and we're here today at Adoptapalooza, hopefully getting about 40 dogs more homes. And you guys do just dogs? We just do dogs, yeah. And where do they come from? So we pull from open and take shelters, uh, both in the South and in New York. Uh, we try to take the pit bulls, we try to take the big dogs, the seniors from ACC, um, and, but, but the dogs really do come from all over. And all different situations? Yeah, some of them have been surrendered, some of them have people who are moving, can't keep them anymore, a lot of them are found as strays, uh, they, yeah, a variety of situations. Hi, we're located in Oyster Bay, we're a cage-free facility. Uh, we rescue primarily from municipal shelters and we adopt out seniors, kittens, cats of all ages. We have a Seniors for Seniors program where we adopt older cats out to senior citizens and we cover the reasonable medical care for those cats. And this is all cats? All cats. And today we have this little guy, Colorado, who's looking for a home with his whole family who's behind me. You having fun. Are you having fun? So we're here with Risa Weinstock, the Executive Director of Animal Care Centers of New York City. So important to be at events like these, right? Oh, absolutely. We have so many great pets and not everyone knows exactly where our shelter is or it might not be convenient. So to get out to a place like Union Square in front of Petco is just an ideal location to get pets out. And you guys are elsewhere in the community as well. We are. We are. We have community outreach programs for people who already have pets who may need help with vaccines or some basic obedience training and licenses and rabies vaccines and so we're really trying to be a little bit of something for everybody whether you want a pet need a pet want to volunteer um, or if you have a pet and you need some help and some services and in terms of adoptions people can come to the shelters but you've also got the mobile units right we do the mobile units like this one right here are just terrific because we have three centers where we do adoptions but again New York City is huge there are eight million people not everyone lives right near the shelter so we we are every weekend, Saturdays and Sundays, in every part of the five boroughs of New York City doing adoption events. And if you go on our website and go on the events tab, you'll find it at nycacc.org and click on events and you will find us throughout New York City. Are you doing okay, Missy? Huh? Doing okay? Hi, baby dog. Hi, hey, baby. Hey, dog. That's your dog. Yeah. Congratulations! Congratulations! You're welcome! <laughs> We've been rescuing cats for over 10 years, me and Adrian. And like 10 years ago, they started showing up. We started getting one, then another. And you know, then we said we got to do something about all these cats running around New York City. Then we got involved in you know, CNR and letting more people get involved as well. You know, now we have a full-time a full thing with over 120 cats. And this is in Brooklyn? Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay, and so the cats are coming mostly from the streets? From the streets, owner surrenders. Uh, we pull also from ACC. There are so many cats. It's, it's, out, it's out of control. We're trying to tell people, please don't just feed the cats. Get involved in CNR. It's a free three-hour workshop, and you can do, make a difference in your neighborhood because there's not enough of us to go around. I mean, kitten season now, it's, it killed all of us. And spay and neuter really is the answer because then you make less cats. Of course. We <laughs> try to tell people that. Long Island Greyhound Connection. Uh, we're an adoption group for X-Racing Greyhounds. We get the dogs from the tracks in Florida, and then we find homes for them. And so about how old are the dogs when you get them? Anywhere from two to four. And what kind of condition are they in? Good. Good. They're bred as athletes. They're strong. They're healthy. 
and they don't really have any um, physical issues, so they're good. And, and what kind of personalities do greyhounds have? Oh, they call them 45 mile an hour couch potatoes. And that's because <laughs> because they can run at 45 miles an hour, but they lo they're the laziest dogs you ever want to meet. They lay on your couch all day long. They love to go for a walk in the morning, and then uh, they'll sleep all day. They're like giant cats. Yes, that, you know, a lot of people do say they're cat-like. For more information about Adopt-a-Palooza, visit AnimalAllianceNYC.org. And remember, if you're thinking about getting a pet, please make yours the next great rescue story and head to a shelter near you. I'm Susan Richard. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on All for Animals.